Israeli officials have announced a total blockade of the Gaza Strip, including a ban on food and fuel. Tensions remain high in the area, with airstrikes and rocket attacks. Sachin Katfi reports. Israel has announced a total blockade of Gaza, including a ban on food and fuel. Electricity was already severed in most parts of the settlement. Tensions are also mounting on Israel's northern border with Lebanon. Even though there is a strong presence of United Nations troops along the demarcation of the frontier, the Lebanese army is on heightened alert and stands in solidarity with the Hamas counterparts. Israeli security forces also conducted search and rescue operations in the south to flush out Hamas terrorists and rescue hostages. Some Hamas militants who breached the border along the Gaza Strip was sprayed with heavy gunfire. Israeli forces pushed back infiltrators in a bid to regain lost territory. More than 100,000 reservists have been summoned for duty. An Israeli military spokesman confirmed it had seized control of all communities near the Gaza barrier, but isolated battles are still being fought. Heavy artillery units are also being amassed at the border for an imminent full-scale assault on Gaza. Israeli air attacks on Gaza continued throughout the night, and the Palestinians responded with rocket fire, pounding southern Israel. More than 400 Palestinians have died in the conflict so far, and thousands are left homeless. But the casualties on the Israeli side are much higher for now, after Hamas militants attacked revelers at a music festival in the desert. At least 260 bodies have been recovered at the scene. With that figure, the Israeli toll stands at roughly 700. Sachin Katwe, HKIBC.